Good morning. It's Wednesday, October 27th. I'm Joe Elkier here with Todd Graff. Welcome back to the Gold Spot. Uh, Todd, lots of crazy rhetoric uh, coming out of the Federal Reserve again this week. It's no shortage of news stories. Um, Janet Yellen's kind of making headlines. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and expand what she's saying. Uh, Janet Yellen proposed the idea of, of taxing unrealized gains. Now what that means for people is that you know, if you have real estate, if you have stocks that have gone up in value, and even if you haven't sold that yet and realized the profits from it, they want to tax that. Um, it's extremely unconstitutional. You know, basically what they're doing is they're, they're violating property rights. You know, th these are, these are you know, assets that you own that have done well, but you haven't realized these gains yet and they want to tax that. You know, and we, the idea too that to, of taxing unrealized gains is ridiculous, you know. And think of it this way, Joe. You know, let's say you own a piece of property, you know, that has gone up in value, which almost all pieces of property have gone up in value recently. Um, if you're taxed on that unrealized gain and then, you know, something happens to that property. If it's farmland and there's a flood or, or something, something like that, do you really think the IRS is going to give you that money back if you then have an unrealized loss on your... They won't. Um, you know, it's, it's very concerning uh, to the average, you know, not even investor, just the average taxpayer. It, it, that's definitely uh, worrisome, and it kind of seems like a, a far-fetched thing that they, they would go in that direction. Um, but there's something else interesting, um, the 85,000 IRS employees that but Joe Biden wants to hire. Um, wh wh how does that all play in? Yeah, exactly. I mean, they're, at the same time they're proposing these new uh, tax ideas or tax laws that they want to put into, into place, um, the Biden administration is, wants to spend $80 billion to hire 85,000 new IRS agents. And it's obvious why they want to do this. They want an army of people enforcing these new tax laws, you know. And it's they know that they know what they're doing is causing inflation. Everybody can see it. It's it's not a secret anymore. Everybody can see that there's inflation. They want to use this as a way to tax, the, you know, the increase in the uh, the money supply that they're the ones who created in the first place. Mm -hmm. um, very unconstitutional. Very concerning for the average average investor and average taxpayer. The, the inflation genie is out of the bottle. Uh, we're here to help you navigate these markets. Go to sbcgold.com, request information, give us a call. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks for coming by the Gold Spot.